Do you shy away from smart shit reports because you're not really sure what they're even used for and if they're even going to help you? Well, you're not alone. A lot of people go through that. Today, I'm going to show you why reports are actually very important for you. They take you to the next level and they're actually very easy to create. And at the end of this, I'm also going to show you how to simply put it on your smart sheet dashboard. Are you ready? Let's dive in. A report is simply the consolidation of multiple sheets. This is helpful, especially when you have multiple sheets floating around, different data points floating around, and you need to see all that rolled up in one easy place. All right, here in a few seconds, I'm gonna show you how to create a report and how that looks different than from a sheet. All right, let's go ahead and create a report. Now there's a few places where you can choose to, um, to create a report. I'm gonna show you both of those here. So um, when you're on your, your main uh, workspace uh, page here, um, if you wanna uh, create a report within this specific workspace right here, Bob's Lemonade, Bob's Lemonade workspace, on the top right, you can click Create, and then you can choose down to Report. And you're gonna have the option, do you want a row report or a sheet summary report? We're gonna stick with the default row report. Most of your reports are gonna be a row report. Sheet summary report, that's for a different lesson. All right, so I can go ahead and click okay and create that. But I just wanna show you a few other places where you can create a report. So I'm gonna cancel out of there. Maybe I'm in a sheet. We'll choose uh, sign contracts number two. And as you see here, this panel opens up on the left. This is a new feature in Smartsheet, and it's your workspaces column right here. You can just open that up and close it right here. If I have this open and I click Add, and I'm going down to Report, and then again, I choose Row Report, this is another way that you can create a report. All right, I'm going to go and delete this. And the third and final way to make a report is if you go down right here where it says the create button and you click right here you scroll down a little bit you choose report and you choose row report the only difference with this is if you create a report using this button right here and clicking down in here and choosing row report it creates an entire workspace specifically for that report to live which most people don't want to do that they want to create a report in a workspace they already have so just keep that in mind so let's go to our recents Let's go to that last sheet where we just in, sign contracts, and let's go ahead and create a report right here. I'm gonna click add, I'm gonna choose report, and then row report. Uh, just like a sheet, it's gonna ask you to give it a name. So let's go ahead and give it a name here. We're gonna choose, uh, I'll just choose contract report, if I can type here. And then the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna choose the sheet or sheets that are gonna fit inside this report. So I'm gonna choose source sheet, and then I'm gonna go down to Bob's Lemonade, bring this down, and then I can look at all these different sheets. So what I wanna do is I wanna do a uh, just all the contracts. We'll do this one, this one, and this one. Then I'm gonna click okay. And right away, it's bringing in the primary column for all three of those different sheets. And as you can see here, unlike a sheet, a report will house a link to all three sheets that live in here. All right, so let's go and add in our columns. Now these are gonna be the columns from all of those sheets. So I'm gonna click in column, and here are all my different columns that populated from there. All right, so let's go ahead and choose, bum bum bum. We'll do director, end date, possible number of stores, sales rep, sign contract, and start date. All right, so you notice here, this is all kind of cattywampus. Just like a sheet, you can drag and drop um, everything right here. So let's go ahead and choose start date. There we go. Click OK. So let's bring our dates together. So we got start date next to end date. I'm gonna highlight both of these, choose one, and it's gonna shrink down the size for both. Got my director right here, got my primary column, possible number of stores, the client address, got 
client phone number and let's look for contract amount contract amount Again, these are choosing pulling from columns from all three sheets maybe I want this up at the front maybe something like like this and then if I'm like you know what I don't really need this you can right click into it you can click remove it will not delete the column from the underlying sheets it's just removing it from the report all right all right let's go and work with that go ahead and click save and now we have ourselves a report on a report there's a few different things that we can do we can filter it and we can group it so if I go to filter maybe I want to make sure that the contract amount is anything higher than let's say 10,000 so I'm going to click Filter, Create, Select the Field, and I'm going to choose Contract Amount. Is greater than 10,000. And watch, it's going to remove all the rows that are less than 10,000 for Contract Amount right here. Click OK. There we go. And then you can keep adding filters upon filters. And you can change this to an and or logic right here. Next thing I want to show you is you can go ahead and group it. Maybe I want to group it by sales rep. So I'm going to choose group. And I'm going to go all the way down until I find sales rep or I can type it in. Sales rep. And we'll choose ascending. So now we have Justin and Billy. Now everything under Billy is going to be grouped under Billy, and everything under Justin is going to be grouped under Justin. So now our report is uh, filtered, and now it's grouped. Now the final thing I want to show you, which is really helpful, is summarizing. Maybe I want to summarize everything just for Billy, for contract amount, and summarize everything just for Justin, for contract amount. And then I want to see the complete total. So I'm going to choose Summarize. Let's choose Contract Amount. There it is at the bottom. I can count it or I can sum it. Sum it is just adding everything. Counting is just counting the rows. So I'm going to choose sum. <clears throat> I'm going to click OK. And there we are. For Billy, it's a total of 69,095. And then for Justin, it's a total of 60,170. But the total accumulation is 129,265. All right, we have ourselves a report. If this video has been helpful to you so far, I actually have a full length training video solely on Smartsheet dashboards. I cover dashboards from end to end. And more importantly, I also cover the top three keys to make your dashboard stand out from the rest. This recording was a recording I did off a live Smartsheet dashboard training video that I did on a live webinar. It is yours 100% free. If you're ready to take your dashboard to the next level and you want, really wanna up your game, this is your video. This is the video you've been looking for. It's 100% free. Just click on the link below and it's yours. All right, let's get back to this current video. All right, so let's go ahead and add this into our dashboard. And I have Bob's Lemonade right here. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and click into here. Remember our name, Contract Report, Bob's Lemonade. Click into the dashboard here. And let's go ahead and exit on that. And let's go and click File, or excuse me, Edit, and then Edit Dashboard, and then Add Widget. We're gonna choose Report. And we're gonna go over here where it says Add Report. Let's click it here. And we're gonna look for it. Now we called it Contract Report. We can manually search for it in here, or we can just start typing Contract Report. And there it is right there. Click here, click OK. And now our report is literally in real time reflected on our dashboard. Now there's a couple things we can do here. By default, it brings in the Gantt chart, but if you don't want your Gantt chart, you're just gonna click Hide Gantt over here. You're gonna toggle that. And then you can grab one of these corners, click and drag, and drag that out how far you wanna do it. There we go, something like that. And then just like any widget on a dashboard, you can go ahead and give it a title. So we're gonna choose, uh, before I do that, just know you can uh, collapse the grouped report. So if I click here, 
it's going to collapse it. So it's just going to show the high level view information. If I toggle that off, it's going to bring the sub information. All right, so we can give it a title. We'll just call this contract report. Let's center it and let's match here. Maybe we want us to white and blue, just like we have it. And on the last thing I wanted to show you on report and formatting is if you remove the formatting, you're going to remove all the formatting that pulled in from the sheet. So you're going to remove this blue background here. So if I toggle on, on remove formatting, it removes the blue. All right, so we got our title. Let's go and do widget behavior. Now widget behavior, this means that right now this widget, it doesn't do anything when you click on it. But if you want it to be dynamic to do something when you click on it, you have a few different options. You can open to that report so it blows it up, open to the data source. You can have it go to anything with a URL link or um, you can open up to a specific smart sheet item. But in most cases, what I use is I just choose the second option when it comes to reports, open the data source. For viewer mode, what this means is the way to view this widget, this report widget on the dashboard, whose perspective do you want to see the results? Is it the last widget editor or their own perspective? So I leave it as last widget editor by default. So let's click save. And let's remove this bad widget here edit, edit a dashboard, we're going to delete this. Let's go and click and drag this new report up. Let's click save. All right, we're out of edit mode. Now, if I want to blow this report up, all we have to do is click into it. And there we have it. We've created a report and we've embedded it onto our dashboard. As always, take care and God bless, and I'll see you in the next episode.